Hey, where y'all going? Oh, I'm straight on that. I'm going to the purple shell. Hey, man, say, man, if you don't know, now you do. You tune into another episode of the Purple Shell Podcast, and we popping it, you dig. I am your host, mm. the real him, not them, you dig. And this episode is brought to you by the Dirty Turtle. Get you a glass. Don't sit fast. Sit slow on that Dirty Turtle, you dig what I'm saying? Hey, and we're going to keep bringing you these special guests to the Purple Shell, you dig. Hey, for the ones that don't know, though, let them know who you are. I am the Money Miko, or you can call me Money Miko, or Mika Veli, or Meeks, but the Money Miko, also known as Kilo Ali, little brother, you know what I'm saying? Baby, baby, hey. nasty dancer, you know what I'm saying? Come on now, pop but, that shit. You know, you know, we popping shit out of Atlanta, Zone 3 Atlanta, coming from Inglewood, you know, Inglewood, Tummerville, Gladstone, oh, that. the real Zone 3, stand up, Moilinwood, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm talking about. Moilinwood, don't nobody know about that yeah, Moilinwood. Y'all yeah. know what's going on, man, yeah. Yeah, you know, we here. For sure, pop that shit. So for the people that don't know, when you when you kind of started getting into the music, man? Man, the music, I started doing it real heavy about at 15, 16, yeah. actually getting into the studio for real. Yeah. Yeah, making that happen, making moves on sure. it. Yeah, actually getting that up, recording it. All right. Yeah. Because you said yeah, you your cousin is uh, who? Not my brother. Oh, your brother. Oh, yeah, my brother. that's my, big brother. For sure. Yeah, that big brother. Shout out to big brother right there. Happy birthday to you, big bro. Okay. I'm fucking with you, man. I love you, man. Oh, okay. nigga, hear that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> hear that. Hey, man, look, that nigga used to show up at my house at 3 a.m. talking about let me make some music. Okay. It'd be 3, 2, 2 a.m., 3 a.m. in glass talk. Boom, 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 boom. Come on. Oh, shit. Wake your ass up. Man, look, body. he the reason why I moved to a gated community. <laughs> <laughs> they just can't walk up on you, though, dog. Come on. Hey, look, he'll still hop the gate, though. Look, okay. Man. It's about some Yeah. Now and again, yeah. 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 So, when you have, have y'all made a lot of uh, music together? Yeah, we made a couple things together. Okay. We got something else in the works, too. He don't want me to drop okay. nothing else yet. He's telling okay. me to wait. He's telling me to wait on everything. He don't want me to drop nothing. Yeah. We got over, like, 40 songs. Come on, now. He said, don't do it. He said, don't do it. No, don't do what it. What we waiting on? And he making me wait. I got to listen to him. He was older brother. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to do no hard head shit too much. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to chill out. You I'm feel gonna me? Listen. I'm finally got it. Sometimes the younger brother know a little son too, though. You feel what I'm saying? They be, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I keep him up to date on the okay. clothes. You know what I'm saying? It's a different flavor how I got on. You know what I'm okay. saying? Not from the regular. You know, far from the regular. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what what inspired this outfit? What inspired this outfit? This ensemble. The, see what happened to this ensemble right here. The pants. Because I'm not, like, I found out I'm Nigerian. I did an ancestry test, y'all. I found out I'm Nigerian, Sierra Leone, and Kenyan. You know, pants, African base. You know what I'm saying? Red, green, and yellow going into the pants. For sure. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm actually Korean. Also, I found out I'm Korean in the culture, too. But, you know, the shirt kind of got an oriental vibe to okay, it. Okay, I see it. And, you know, the um jacket, you know, it's kind of real cage, skull, and skull, bones type vibe, you know. Mm. So it was just an extra little extra put on. Okay, put on top yeah. of that shit, sauce it up a little bit more. Nothing but a little Balenciaga foot. Nothing too much, too. Yeah. Going light on it. It is something slight. I ain't really go too hard. You feel me? Yeah. That hard though. Yeah. So what, where, you, where you think you get your, your style from? Man, I get my style. I wake up. I just be like, fuck it. I just feel how I feel. It's really like making a canvas out of yourself. Yeah. A representation. Yeah. Yeah. Out of like what you like to feel or your flavor. And you say you see you uh you uh it's like a being an artist in the canvas, right? So what you what you starting with first? What you as far as with when you putting putting that shit on? Oh, uh, I'm putting that shit on, man. I'm, I'm starting with emotions. I say emotions got colors like vibrations. You know what I'm saying? Emotions got colors. Like if somebody feeling in a, a kind of mood, a certain color go fit a certain color. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You feeling real royal? I say you go for the purple or the blue. You know what I'm saying? You feeling highly, you know what I'm saying? It's the yellow or the white, you know? You get what I'm saying? Like, But I also, you got to mix it in with the culture, you know what I'm saying? I'm, it, me walking around with this kind of clothing on is a representation of my ancestry. You get what I'm saying? For sure. Yeah. Because you say you're Korean and Nigerian. Yeah. Pop yeah. it. Yeah, pop it, pop it, man. God damn, I hate it. I be having two sides of me take over, man, you know? Yeah, there you no. go. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> Um, um, dang. Go ahead, go ahead. Nah, pop your shit. You dig what I'm saying? Nah. So, 
being 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 from Atlanta and shit, right? Yeah. Who who kind of who you think is the the goats of, uh, of music right now coming yeah. out of Atlanta? Goats of music right now coming out of ATL, man. I gotta go. It, it's a it's a couple motherfuckers though. It's a couple motherfuckers. It's like um future, the uh I gotta say little guy. That, I'm talking about who out right now. Mm, Future Thug got it. Uh, Nudie. Um, let me see. Um, who else? Who real really? You know, um, that boy who what his name is? Od crashing, crashing out. Uh, baby kid. <laughs> Man, oh my God, that boy, uh, that boy is like Walker Flocker. It's like relive Walker Flocker, really. That's just that shit up on time a whole other level. That yeah, it's like time ten. 10. Yeah. Like that's it's just a relive. It circled back around. You mm. heard me? That how I feel like. Yeah. Um, he really put it on for the city. I can see him going up somewhere. Yeah. 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 Um, it's it's a couple of folk. It's a couple of folk making that wave in the city for going real. crazy. I'm but, trying to think about it. Ain't Anisia from Atlanta? For sure. Yeah, nah. Yeah, she making way. Okay. Hey, yeah. Anisha, get at me, baby. <laughs> there you, you go. like poly life, baby. <laughs> <laughs> there you hey, go. He's hey. shooting a shot. Look here. Look here. She sat in that same spot you sat in. What? Right there. Oh, you feel me? I mean, I guess you know. You feel what I'm saying? saying? So we can, you, we, we might we can make it, it happen. We all set in the same spot, baby. I, it's a start, baby. You feel me? It's the, we and y'all in the right places <laughs> together. You feel what I'm saying? Hey, we'll get no, it for sure. real, though. You gonna so, make something happen? So I heard, heard you saying something about some, the poly life. What, what you what you know about that, man? Man, uh, poly life. I always been in relationships where it was like two women it even started way from the beginning mm. i guess because it's like i grew up in a house full of women mm. you know for the most part okay. it was like i was more comfortable or like being surrounded by women mm. yeah mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah that poly life it, it's a it's a nice life man it's a nice life man i can i can get a sauce now on it man I say the most women I ever dated at one time, like everybody all together, as one as five. Okay. Yeah. So it was six total. Okay. Yeah. So is when when you doing when you doing stuff like that, do explain like the dynamic, as far as like say you you have five women that you are dating at the same time, y'all all together. Do they all know about each other? Y'all. y'all yeah, they each all know about each other. It's like I mean, at the end of the day. The perfect number for a poly relationship is, I'll say, about two to three. You get what I'm saying? Two to three. And that's um, three uh, incomes. They'll make it work together, you know? You know what I'm saying? Promote things. And it's like you can't have a poly relationship without being really honest. You got to be a very honest individual in order to have a poly sure. relationship. You cannot be a liar yeah, when it comes to sure. poly. You know what I'm saying? You can't be sneaking, you know what I'm saying, off here. Though. You've got yeah. two people looking at you now, yeah. three people looking at you now, yeah. like, damn. What you want? For sure. You heard me. So you got to be straight, frank, honest. I feel more comfortable telling the truth. Yeah. It turned me on to tell my bitch the truth. No, you heard sure. me. Yeah. So when you when you started doing the poly, you know what I'm saying, living that poly lifestyle, you say, you did you start off with one? And then how did that kind of, you know, how did you get the second one or the third one? You feel me? If that makes sense. If how did I poly. get the second one? It was... <clears throat> First of all, for, first and foremost, I would be honest. I would be straight out honest, like just honest with myself, because it's like you know, you you can sit up there and play games. It's like people sometimes are in poly relationships without them even knowing they poly. For sure. So it's like exactly. like it's like a <laughs> motherfucker go sit up there and cheat anyway. Yeah, for sure. Motherfucker, you might as well be honest. Yeah. Like goddamn, tell her the truth. Like you know what I'm saying. Mom dude said you can't go wrong if you tell her the truth. Mm. You smell me. So what? What you doing? Yeah. You get know what I'm saying. That's one thing you know how to understand a woman, because so she knows she's getting herself into. Yeah, yeah. Give her the choice. She gonna got them choose. Yeah, give her the choice. She gonna choose. For sure, for sure. Yeah. So shit. What What are some of the uh? What you feel like some is some of the the downfalls of being in a poly relationship though? Uh, I'll say clashing personalities. Mm. When it's not successful, clashing personalities. Yes, mm. yes, yes. You got to really watch out for that. It's really got to be a lot of compatibility. Okay. Everybody don't has to be on the same agreements, but it's like it, it, is, it is such a thing as damn near perfect, but not perfect. Mm. Yeah. 
Mm. Yeah, and those type of relationships. Okay. And it's like learning to do everything together. You know what I'm saying? Everybody go out together. Everybody move as one unit together. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I really think that would save the black community mm-hmm. if y'all work together with three incomes and make something happen and build everything up faster and use teamwork. But yeah, mm-hmm. like, anyway. <laughs> they ain't ready for that. They ain't ready, they ain't for, ready that. for that. Yeah. Like, I mean, if you, you flip it how you want to flip it. You know what I'm saying? Just be honest about your shit. Stop sure. lying. Don't be no lying that motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that that go that go both ways too, cause it's like the the guys is usually lying because they feel like the girl is not gonna really participate, um, and, and you know what I'm saying. But then the, on the end, the girl know that this nigga gonna cheat on me and been cheating on me, but yeah. I'm still gonna fuck with him. So why but, not be honest with yourself see, too? You feel when you hit me with that, it's like. People moving off of low vibrational mm. frequencies. Mm. You moving off low, but you ain't go. You ain't go really expand and like really shine in life if you move off low vibrational frequencies. That's fear. Mm. You're moving off of fear. You're like, oh, I'm scared if she, you know, mm. don't go off of that. You gotta go off of, you know, boldness. For sure, heart. Mm. Live, tell the truth. When you when you radiate that light, man, that light make it happen and make it right. For sure. Yeah. And you gonna and you're gonna attract everything that you need, everything yeah, you want. Everything person. everything that you want. Like you gotta take life out of horns For sometimes. Sure. That's really what it is. You gotta take life out of horns. If it ain't going with you, it's going against you. So another question then with that, with so if you wanna add Someone to the the equation to the relationship, right? Mm-hmm. Are you making a decision to add, or is the girl having the decision? One of the girls, you know, what I'm saying, having a decision. It's to a add it's a collective decision. It's really a collective decision at the end of the day because we're looking at overall compatibility. We're looking at teamwork skills. We're looking at communicative skills on a poly relationship vibe. You know what I'm saying? It's like it, it, it takes. It takes more than it meets to the eye, you know. It it's sometimes like a person might it might be thirty, thirty, forty, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. When the percentages when people trying in a relationship, you know. But it's learning how to work through those certain trials and tribulations, you know. The other day I on her started talking about I, she wanna sleep on this side and this side, you know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. shit, got a king side, I need a California king smell. Oh no. Yeah. So yeah, yeah they <laughs> arguing about beds. If it was side of the bed, so they yeah. sleep on. Huh? Come on now. Word. So yeah. ha- have it ever been a time where one of the girls is like they want to uh they want to bring in a guy into the relationship? I, I mean, look, I don't even care for being on some shit like that. But pussy don't work like this, dude, baby. I got to keep it a hundred. Mm-hmm. Pussy don't work like this, dude. I mean, Shawty said she go got down. Oh, I'm gonna go sleep out with some guy too. She started came back. That pussy raggedy. Okay, now it different. Is this same same consistency? Mm-hmm. So what we doing? Mm. Like shit, baby. I can't fall in love. I can't feel nothing. <laughs> huh? What the fuck we doing? Yeah. Anyway, pussy easy to maintain, baby. Close your lips. Mm. Well, she just want to get some get, get some head. Shit, that's on her. <laughs> 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 hey, hey, yeah. hey, she just said that's on her. Nah, for sure. That's on her. I mean, it ain't been no shit like that, but it was like I was keeping shit fell, fell, but I decided yeah. that that wasn't for me. Yeah. For the ones that like the men, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like to each his own. If you want to live it up, if you want to be one chick and three guys, you live it up. You know what I'm saying? I yeah. know that ain't my flavor. Yeah. It ain't going like that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. For sure, for sure. King culture. Go crazy. Uh-huh. So uh let's talk about what what, what music you about you drop you dropping right now, man. I know you said you've been holding on to the music that y'all done made together with with your with your big bro, but what you what you dropping right now? Right now, I recently dropped an album called Menorah Flora. It was on more of a like even flow vibe, you know what I'm saying? It got a soft calm, like kinda come on to it, then it go into up into the hypeness towards the end of the album. Mm. And turned up, you know what I'm saying? But I'm currently working with an engineer right now. And it's it's going good. I can't say too much about it, y'all. I just want to hit y'all a little feel about it. Cause my brother get pissed off if I say something. He'll get so pissed off at me. I ain't, ain't go look. I got you, bro. <laughs> I got you, goddamn. For sure, you uh, you got a video for for, for it. Um, nah, I don't got no video out for it yet. It's on the way. 
Yeah, it's on the way. Pop it. Definitely. If y'all want to go see some some of the content with me and him in it, they got to follow me on IG, The Money Miko, T-H-E, Money, M-E-E-K-O. Yeah. For sure. And then for somebody who uh who was kind of, they didn't know your music, right? How would you, what song would you kind of, like, tell them to go listen to of yours <sighs> that would describe you the best? Um, that song describing them best. I'm really, uh, I'm multifaceted when it comes to music. So really, it's a set at a randomization bar. You really got to just click on anything. Um, when it comes to me, I'll say you can go listen to that song called Dear Milky. It's dedicated to my mother. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That's a good first listen. It's a good first, like, clean listen. They get some of the pure lyrics before you really get to the ratchet, for real. Mm, okay. Uh-huh. Pop it then. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Uh, anything else you want to say to the people, man? Pop some shit to them. You know what I'm saying? Before we get out of here. Shit, on um, Zone 3 Atlanta, we in here, man. See, if y'all want to make a pilot relationship work, just come to me. See, to make it happen. Hey, Bunny Buns. Um, to make it happen, you have to be very honest. And we all have to work together as a cohesive blend to form an introspective of making for progress in our community. You know what I'm saying? That's what we fucking up at, man. We we really got to get together as a whole. That's what I'm saying. I mean, Atlanta is the black mecca for black entrepreneurialism, which is a beautiful thing. But I really want to see more of it. I want to really see more of that happen. I want to see more cohesiveness within our community. You know what I'm saying? And y'all just be more honest out you. It's just about being more honest, being more real. That's where we got to keep it at. That's it, you know? And, I mean, I, don't, I was trying to think of anything else. So, you got any, any other questions for I mean, friend? you pop some shit. You, you, you popping your shit. Now you let them know I'm, what's going I'm, on. I'm trying to help. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to help any way I can. You heard me. I'm trying to help any way I can. I want to see everybody having it for real. I want to see everybody making it for real, man. It ain't no hate. I can say I don't got no type of hate in my heart. They don't weigh nothing on me. You know, so I don't got no type of way to hate in my heart. So it, it's all love, baby. That's all the world needs. It's more love, baby. Come on. Yeah. Whole lot of it. Whole lot of it. Whole love of it. Come on now. Pop it. So let, uh, let the people know where they can find you at, man. Man, you can find me. Oh, you can really just Google me. M O N E Y M E E K O. You can just Google Money Miko. Click on anything after that. Uh, everything will pop up then. M O N E Y M E E K O. It's more in store, it's more to come, more in flow. Yeah, hear me. Yeah, I already know what's going on, man. I appreciate you sliding through to the purple shell. Yeah, did. Uh, for sure, you yeah, did. You yeah, already know who I am, man. Mr. Him, not them, man. We pop a major flavor over here at the Purple Shell Podcast. Yeah, did. The Purple Shell.